All right, so I'm going to show you some of the supplies that I use to make my coastal molds. I use, uh, today I'm going to use this pour on resin. Um, again, it's the two part mixture. Equals up to 50 coats of varnish with one, just one coat of it. It is thicker than the other one that I showed you in my last couple videos. Um, but I use that. These are the coaster molds that I use, the round coaster molds I use. I got them from the dollar store. Um, again, probably it's like a pastry type mini cake mold, but I use these ones for resin. It comes right out, it's really um, handy. It does have a textured bottom. It makes it a little bumpy on the bottom, but it doesn't mess up the coaster at all. It's still flat and, and um, level, so that's good. So I'm gonna use one of those. Well, I'm actually gonna do four, but I'm just showing you. I usually use a sickle sticking it at the dollar store. Um, every time I buy medicine for the baby, it comes with, each bottle comes with one of these. So we have a couple of them, so I'm just use this for my resin. Um, unfortunately it has to be cleaned out every time you use it, like after you're done, because otherwise it won't open because the resin hardens. I'm going to use that to get into like my bottle caps. I'm going to do um, some stuff in the mold that I got. Um, sorry, it's sticky. This is stuff. Um, this mold. I did find out that this is a glue gun mold, like a hot glue mold. Um, but I'm going to try it with resin since it was on clearance. Um, you can probably try like the heart or something. But I just put this in the resin and squeeze it out. Then it can go in like the little holes and stuff. Um, and then you have to measure equal parts of <clears throat> the different formulas of the resin. Um, so I just use... Um, the Dixie cups to mix it in. I usually double it up because it does kind of seep through. And then I just use these. Um, get them at the dollar store. Um, when you fill it up, I, you have to scrape it out with the popsicle stick and into the cup. But you know, it's kind of tedious, but it does work for now. Um, I can't find one of those type of things. So if you know where I can find one, definitely leave a comment below. Um, it would be much easier, but for now I just do my own little method. Um, so the coasters that I'm going to be doing, which of course will take a little while to do, um, but I'm going to be doing a paper one with this, and I'll show you what I do with it. Um, the paper by paper one, and then a... The sticker one. Um, I'm gonna do four, get four going for bases. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other two, but I know to, for sure to get those started. Um, yeah, so I will come back and show you how to do the resin. Okay, so I've mixed my resin. I just did an ounce and stirred it. Um, you can see the bubbles. So, how you pop the bubbles is you take a lighter, right? So, I'm gonna pour the resin in. All right, and now that it's in there, you can kind of see that little thing. You just get it out with your stick. Sometimes, like stuff gets in it, but you just pop it with your bu uh, pop the bubbles with the lighter, and I'll do half and see. You see, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, this half has bubbles. This half is more smooth. You just pop all the bubbles. Sometimes you have to come back in a little bit later um, and do them as the bubbles still kind of rise. Usually it's just a time or two with the bottom layer. Um, when you start getting pieces in um, on the second layer, <clears throat> um, such as like... Not really with stickers like this. There won't be bubbles underneath it. But with like, let's see. If we use these, sometimes bubbles get underneath and come up to the surface. Um, so you have to pop them sometimes, I don't know, while it's drying, you know, 20 minutes into it. Right now, it looks like all the bubbles are popped. So you'll let this cure. You'll have to let it sit for a minimum of 12 hours. Um, it will get hard, and then that's how you do the next layer. I'm going to do this background. 
I have Mod Podge both sides. I don't know if you can tell the difference in the two papers on camera. That one's Mod Podged. See how there's that shiny stuff right there? This one is not Mod Podged. Um, obviously with paper being porous, it will seep through. And don't like that look for this particular thing that I'm doing. Um, so I've Mod Podged it front and back twice and around the sides. And then that will go on this when it's dry. Usually I do wait till it's dry. Sometimes I put it in when it's still a little tacky, depending on what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna put that on it when it's cured after 12 hours. And then I will show you how to do the rest of that. Um, I'm going to mix some more resin and um, try to fill some of these. So I'll mess with it a little bit and then the, um, show how that's done. I probably will only just do the hearts because um, you have to dye it and I don't want to do all of this resin and waste it. So that's what I will do and then I will come back when this is cured and we will continue the rest of the coaster. Okay, so I decided that I'm going to show two different coasters um, today. I'll show you how I do the clear one and then how I do one with paint. Um, they do have what they call resin obsession um, pigment stuff. Um, it's basically like paint. You can use paint. I use eyeshadow stuff, the powder. Um, you just have to use a little bit of paint. So I'll show you how I do the purple one for, um, I'll do it for my um, friend's coaster. So I'm just gonna stir it and it turns purple and then I will pour it in the mold. And then when it's cured, I will be back. All right, so it's a little bit over 12 hours later just because I worked this morning, but the resin has hardened, the coasters are hard. <clears throat> so now it is time to put it together. Um, so this, again, I have Mod Podged on both sides. You can see the shiny part. That's two coats on each side and then of course just around the edge. Um, so I'm gonna just glue it down. Um, this case, this one is the clear background, so I'm not gonna use super glue. I will just use Mod Podge. Um, this is what Mod Podge is. Comes in all different sizes, all different types. Um, it's a water sealer glue and finish. Um, somebody told me to get the super gloss one. This is the gloss one. It kind of just dries clear on different things that you're using, but this one seems to work fine for all of my projects that I do and it goes a long way and it goes forever there's teeny ones that are probably like that big you can get at the dollar store um so I got a couple of those so I won't need the Mod Podge probably for like four years but it's Mod Podge it's liquidy <clears throat> um when you brush it on you can use a brush I used a brush to do these and I feel it left streaks um before I have used my finger just put it on my finger and Go, but this time I used a brush I'm not sure how I feel about it but I'm thinking with putting it in here getting it down and putting the next coat of resin it's not going to matter what how I used um, the Mod Podge and what application I used um, so I'll just put a little bit more Mod Podge on the back of here get it in here get it as center as I can since the paper is a little bit smaller than the coaster um, and then I'll mix my resin and pour my resin on top and pop the bubbles just like I did before with these two. And then I'll come back and show you what and how I'm going to do this one. Okay, so the coasters have cured the top layer on both of them. Um, it has been over 12 hours. You definitely want a minimum of 12 hours for the layers, um, but 72 hours will ensure that the middle layer is still um, it's hardened like in between the top and the middle it just will harden throughout all of it um, but I usually do 12 hours and I don't have a problem um, this one's a little bit longer just because of the time that I started it yesterday um, but you can see that this one is a little bit thicker here um, than compared to this one And it's, I, on the white one, I put just a little bit more resin just to cover these. 
these when I put these in I wasn't going to on this one but when I put them in um, I didn't turn on the camera um, but they were adhesive backs and they obviously wouldn't stick in with wet resin so I had to keep pushing them down I had to pop all the bubbles this one turned out really good without any bubbles I was actually surprised I thought there would be more bubbles after like the 20 minutes of it sitting usually after 20 minutes it gets tacky versus liquidy um, and then you start to get the strings to pull up when you touch it so you sometimes after that bubbles still come up but I was surprised that they didn't on this one I was really pleased with this one um, gotta figure out what else I can do for another coaster on this one this one doesn't have any bubbles but this one didn't have a little more resin to cover these so I might just put a little resin on top to make it flush usually though you have to cover the whole thing and it's not too bad um, but I probably will do it because I wouldn't want a coaster like this if it was mine um, if I wouldn't buy one like this because of that so I've got to do a flush layer on that and that's just a little bit and that'll probably take six hours to dry um, but these are the two newest coasters um, that I've done I will do a like slideshow video on all of the coasters that I've done um, picture wise just because I don't still have some of the coasters I just have pictures of them all um, as I gave them away um, so I will do that in the future that will just be a little slideshow video um, but here is how to do a coaster from start to finish and the unmolding and what they look like now there see these ones are really hard this one would be a little easier to break than this one just because this has a little bit more resin on it um, but that is how I do my coasters obviously I will show you how I do other ones different techniques different things in it painting um, those types of things pictures this is for and now um, so hope you enjoy and let me know if you have any questions um, leave a comment follow me on Facebook ask me there um, like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video